cool. Yeah. Oh, the fireplace with the rank. Oh, yeah. Howdy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have a uh, club fitting at 1.30. All right, Schedule. you familiar with the property at all? No, first time here. Oh, welcome to the property, you guys. Yeah, thank you. Uh, really easy to get down there. You're gonna hang a left past the gate. Past the gate, yep. to the left at the sign. Yeah, left that right way. Here. Yep. Once you get to your second stop sign, there's gonna be a massive parking lot right in front of you. On the back side of the parking lot is the driving range and there's a little building sitting there on the green. That's the uh, academy. Great. All right. All right, man. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Destination is on the left. Is that the Tesla? Yeah. BMW. Like a community back in here? Those look like houses of some kind. Yeah, I think yeah, you can do. have houses here. Oh, there's a little playground and tennis court. Whoops, sorry. I just recorded the side of the door there. That's fine. Let's delete all that shit. Here's problem right here, man, in front of us. It looks nice, huh? Yeah. Looks kind of like the Tethero from the pictures I saw. and bag drops to the right. Okay, here's the big grill. parking lot, so we're gonna go in the back. Oh, see, look, rooms. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, but this is the pronghorn. Uh, well, yeah, you can yeah. stay here, remember? I bet you can rent out those little houses, too, like, yeah, if you wanna. Probably. Do I see a building? Oh, I see the course. Yeah, do I see a building that says Academy? It's somewhat green. Green is actually no. Is this the bag drop thing here? That's what I'm looking at. Academy, right yeah, there. That's where I want to go. Alright, great. So there's your six. So let's get about eight shots in right at that at green flag. So if there are crappy shots, we delete them or we play with them. This first go around, anything that's like a C grade or better, I'll okay. keep. If it's a if it's a bad, bad shot, I'll delete it. Okay. And how do you want me to be swinging? It's like 80% like I should be golfing swing? No, or like no just, just normal, normal speed, like speed, stock okay. speed from a fairway, okay? Now over in how far do you play that ball? Or the six? Six, yeah. Stock is probably 180. Okay. If I'm lucky, if I hit it really pure, it can yeah. get maybe 200 max. Okay. Um, but that's on a good day. Gotcha. And I don't know what it's carrying. That's when I go up there and that's what it, up it runs to. Yeah, it's right elevation over here. Yeah, it's 30. So, so that, that has a built in barometer. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, so that went 189. That, yeah, yeah, I carried 179 with 189. Oh, 189 total. Okay. We'll do a handful more, okay? Yeah. Jason, whatever you want me to do. <laughs> You're going to hit a lot of balls today, buddy. Yeah, sounds good. I've been ready for this. I didn't hit any balls last night in my singular for a reason, too. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty consistent, you know. Like, um, I go right to club, I click average, 
um, 95 clip SP. Okay, so okay. that puts you, once you start hitting 90, 91, you gotta start climbing into X, like single okay. X, okay? So if you're at 95 and you've only hit today a total of probably 20 balls so far, mm -hmm. that might go up a couple more. Okay. Um, Shut off, keep going. The wheel is going. And, but look how far the toe is down. Six Yeah, five. see, and it, okay. so when I take divots too, I tell my buddies this, yeah. that it's always a toe down divot. Yeah. Not like too much so, so here's the thing. So I measured yours at 63 degrees, which okay. is one up from our, from our standard, okay? Okay. Um, I would never build you another, I would never put you up to like 69.5 degrees. That's yeah, way too, too much. much, right? And so because right now you still have a left spin axis. So mm -hmm. the more I go so back draw up. draw axis, right? Yeah, it's draw. draw axis, mm -hmm. okay. And, and you launch it too high. Yeah, but that's always. a little bit of your speed. And is that, am I um, so that's, flipping a little? Or? That, yes, so oh, because yeah. your angle of attack, like, Very shallow. Yeah, see, see? That, I think that's what that mat teaches me to scoop yeah. it almost. So I think that like those when they say up, that means you're hitting the ground slightly before oh, it. Oh, okay. And then the mat's kind of scooping at yeah. it. And yeah. you'll notice like if we go back like like the second one up here on ball, and you'll notice it's the low spin one. See mm -hmm. that? Because yeah. you, you, you drop kick one the spin yeah. or mat, yeah. you know, it'll it'll come down. Yeah. Um, but the length of the clip, so the only reason your average mark is down on the toe, six low and six toe, see mm -hmm. that, yeah. is because the toe's down. Okay. Most of the time when the toe's down that far, the marks move toward the toe. Okay. Like, wool level, I usually would say, so. Would a shorter shaft affect the toe down piece of it? Not, probably not. Not, okay. I mean, if, if you, if you, if I give you a short, like a 37.5, which is standard, because that's mm -hmm. 38, mm -hmm. if I go a half inch shorter, it actually would make the, that line go one degree flatter, okay. which would be more toe down. Yeah, I didn't know if it would make me reach down further, which would tilt it up or not. You know what I mean? It, it might, it, it would change the distance you get to the ball probably, yeah. and it just might change how you sensory deliver it, you know? But but what I would say is I kind of like, like six and six isn't bad, dude. Like, but you have a couple of way down here. Mm -hmm. Now that could be the technique thing, because you're a little bit out to end 0 0.4, not much, but 0 0.4. Mm -hmm. But the reason you have that draw axis is the face is really close to the target, mm -hmm. okay, right. 4.3. To the yeah. path, it's 4.7, actually 3.9, sorry, because you're out, outside of that. So yeah, so that's what creates the draw yeah. yeah, so yeah. Well, I would essentially want this obviously more end out though, right? And then well, if you swing into out and you have that close right. face, you're going to have, you're gonna, no, you're going to have way more hook. Okay. Oh, what? Yeah. Because right now your path is outside in, point yeah. 4, and your yeah. face is only 4, it's only 3.9 close to that path. Yeah. So you're only getting 7 degrees of curve. Right. Because you have to figure in your angle of descent, which yours is not very much. But if you swing to the right 4, and you have a face over here that's 4, you have 8 degrees of separation. That's bad. That's more hook. Right. So I would say the only issue that you're hooking is because you're closing the face. Okay. You know, if you didn't close the face very, and, and this is a really high rate of closure right here on the club, 3,300, like, that's fast. Yeah, so GC Quad is the only one that does it. Um, so that's really fast. I mean, I want that thing 1,500, half that. Oh, wow, okay. Like, it's not closing that fast, right? Yeah, yeah, and think about that. If you, if you close it, like, half as much than four, than four yeah. if you only get it like one or two, yeah. if you minimize that, that probably goes back to straight, and then yeah. that, that DPS goes to like 1,500. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, angle of descent, 50, that's really high. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. coming down, you don't have any issue stopping the ball. Spin is actually perfect, 5,200 on average, really good. These two drop kick, that's not a big deal, but your iron is 29 degrees of loft as I measured it. You come in shallow, and so you're, you're launching it at 20. Like, your, your idea, well, not too, not too much, but it is a couple degrees too yeah. high. I'd want to see that thing more like, like 15 to 18. Okay. All right. But that's the other thing too. Like if, if you went back to Chris and said, hey, Chris, I'm only hitting 0 0.1 down or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And my dynamic loft is like, I, I play a 29 degree head and dynamic loft, I'm delivering 28. He's going to go, oh shit, I know exactly what you need to do. You should be. So I play 29 on my PA, oh, I don't have here my PhD irons. Mine's 29 and I deliver 24. Okay. And I hit down 3.5. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so, so that, that's what you want about three to four degrees down? Two to four is two after. Two yep. If anyone's over four, I call yeah. it steep. Okay. Even if they're in the four, four point something sure. is steep. Okay. Yeah, if yeah, someone says they pick it and they're like, like you, yeah. or they're like one down or something, I consider that shallow. Yeah. And it, with that number down, not much, I'm not compressing it very well. No. Yeah. That ball's riding up. Yeah. So like, I mean, in all honesty, if you go back to the ball, I mean, you swing it five miles, six miles an hour faster than me, maybe seven. I'm at so 88, should be getting, 89. You should be getting much I hit, more distance. I hit further than you. Yeah. Because my spin's like 4,900 and my launch is like 18. Yeah. So like I'm optimized. Yeah. But but that's what I'm here to do for yeah, you exactly, is make exactly. sure you're optimized. Yeah. So let's pull some heads. Okay. We want to isolate the head first. Okay. So if you, you're my you're my only guy the whole day. So you tell me what you want to hit. <laughs> well, what do you think? I mean, so, good thing you're in shape because so, what I would tell you that I don't do, I don't pull like Mira first, PXG first, never something. Heard of Mira. Oh, Mira is awesome. PXG is super like spending. Yeah, yeah. so new. like Titleist Concepts, five hundred yeah. ahead. Mm -hmm. These are really expensive. Long. These are expensive. Oh. But I will pull yeah. strips on. <laughs> So when I, I so I have some buddies and they are a fan of the tailor made. Yeah. They think I should be in the PC of the nineties. Yeah. Look what I got today. It's a little bigger than the PC of the nineties. Oh yeah. But it's actually yeah. sick looking. No one said it isn't. I mean I, I might do it just to see what happens. Yeah, I'll hit whatever um, I want to see what it's what about the Zoom? Do they make any, any oh, I rolled the two two five already. Okay. It's super good, so I got him in it. So do you think that these irons are like I mean, a touch, but you know, like that was a good head, but it's a it is a spinny head. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's not super forgiving. No, right? for a seventeen, like when we do our key, like our face mapping, like you can punch in the iron fire and tell them how much it is, nine spots on the face. Yeah, and we chess how um, what the MOI is on each of those, mm -hmm. and it's not a very forgiving head. Yeah, you know, so um, so I would probably pull the regular Apex, not the Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I would pull the new i525. That just came out. I would pull some. I'd pull. Is there a pain? The X5. That's a pain. Oh, that's a pain? Yeah. Oh, okay. Brand new. So, i59 is kind of like their blady version of that. Mm -hmm. You see how like they just tried to yeah. like simulate it? Yeah. So, the 525 is going to be more forgiving. These are all clunky. Like, that's too big for you. Yeah. Okay. I pulled the Strixon ZX5, which is awesome. And then. You could hit the new Cobra Forge, the Tech, the Tech yeah. X that just came out today. Any, new, any others you recommend in Hillary? Not the P7 ins, those are too small, those are blady. Okay. And then these so are the just- 70 is too blady. 770 is like the, the little brother to the 790 and it's 29 degrees of loft and it's spinning. Okay. Like it's not, for your buffet speed, mm -hmm. that thing, like you have in the sixes in, in spin. Right now you're oh, at 52, yeah, 18, yeah, yeah. but I guarantee you that's probably the most spinniest head in the drawer. And more spinny doesn't make a difference, right? No. More back there. And you already hit it high. So yeah, sometimes yeah. people that don't hit it high enough, they need yeah. more spin. Yeah. So I put them into like a spinny head. Yeah. And then, but then it's a risky thing because I always have to say, if there are medium to high end yeah. guys, and I put that on a shaft and it looks kind of small, mm -hmm. I, I ask them, does that pan make you panic? You know, you yeah. get nervous looking down, they're like, yeah. no, I can handle it. You know, so I like small. Yeah, because I feel like, like so nothing like, like aim small. I mean, nothing we picked was was super big. Yeah, you know, like, um, but that's 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 my that's okay. my thing. So yeah. I I pulled the Titleist, I pulled the T two hundred. Okay. Where did I put it? Oh, right there. I pulled the Mizuno. What's the T one hundred? Small blade. Small. Okay. Yeah, so see how tiny that is. Yeah. Like okay. that's what Spieth and Justin Thomas play. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like that's probably not what you'd want to play. Um, the three is the biggest, or the four hundred is the biggest. Three's got offset, like I, it's just too clunky for you. You don't need that. These, these are good. I, I would stay there. And so ninety-five foot bed speed at thirty-eight would put you like, like legitimately, anything above three seventy. You see that? Yeah. Remember, yours is like clear up here. It's yeah. up in the double X. So like, I would say, I would say anything around three, anything over three twenty. We would be okay. Yeah, okay. So, is there any truth to the kick pointing? Yeah. So, ben, so bend profile. Yeah. Uh, it has everything to do with how a player tra transitions, transitions, right? Yeah. And then what kind of load they put on a shaft. Okay. And you have a lot of. I mean, you have a faster transition, mm -hmm. right? Um, 
and you could have a little steeper shaft, you know, like yeah. on the way down, that could be what's putting that toe down. Okay. okay. Um, it's certainly not toe down because it's drooping a lot because your shaft is really right, stiff. Right, right. It's not okay. going to allow yeah. droop, right? Right. So, so to me, when I saw that six degrees toe down, six point five, mm -hmm. that is a that's a swing technique thing. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so I feel like I should shallow my knee up. It, it should. But if you do if you do shallow it, that's why. Like if I put together a build sheet for you. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't go six degrees more upright. I'd probably yeah. go one or two, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Like, and then whatever head you pick, almost any new head these days you're gonna be able to pick. Mm -hmm. So, like, I know Eugene has a, a yeah. has the same Mitchell lot by. Okay. And just make sure if, if they do that, get on a quad or something that makes it perfectly accurate, yeah. and then tape the hop. Because I'm really picky about my gear, yeah. so I would like put paper, like wrap paper and the tape around the hobble, okay. and then bend it, okay. and try to use a brass bending bar, not okay. this one. Like it should have a gold brass end, yeah, which yeah. will cut into your right. the hosel. Because you don't want to ding that on your set of clubs. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? And I know they don't have a GC quad, but they use TrackMan. They have TrackMan yeah. 4. I, I, I've used TrackMan my whole career yeah. until just this January. Yeah. We all had to switch to quad. It's good. It's, it's probably not as accurate on on the club data as yeah, I agree. quad. I agree. But, but it, I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. Like if you ever if you ever question, then you're like, hey, dude, I'm going to ding you. Can I sneak over and get on the quad for a bit? No yeah. charge either, like just come on over. Um, so for all intents and purposes, let's... Do you know the three shafts I like? Just, What's that? Which doesn't mean anything, it's just me. Yeah. Know that. Yeah. Project X, True Temper, KBS. Okay. Are those the main K three? KBS? Yeah, Obon. the main three? I'm gonna have you through an Obon today. Okay. Though. Obon is awesome. Okay. Um, on our Pure machine, on S from SST, like usually when you peer it, it's like a heart monitor. It goes doo -doo -doo, and it goes boop, yeah. and then it goes doo -doo -doo, boop, and, and that it, it identifies the pure line like really easily. Yeah. On the Obon, it's like it's hard because the entire shaft is so good. So no matter what they do to the shaft when they twist and turn it, it's like pretty close. It's like barely little rolling hills. Yeah. Like that means the whole the whole shaft on a round diameter yeah. on the all sides is really stable. It's stable. Yeah. yeah. So. So they make them at CT 100, 115, and 125. I, so obviously with you being a little bit steeper, mm -hmm. right, and a little bit kind of on top, like mm -hmm. vertical, mm -hmm. you, you want to stick in with all that club head speed. You want to stay away from anything really light. Okay. So you want to stay gram weight at least over 120. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. So what, what are these 120s? Those are 130s. Oh, those are 130s. Yeah, so that's heavy. So that would be the same weight as like, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use an X100 okay. tour issue at shots with the first one then we're only going to hit three with each head okay and we're going to use one shaft to do it so five balls I'm five gonna, balls i'm going to rename it in here <coughs> and all the heads I, I pulled they're the same line as your 63 i don't even have anything more up in here okay and then you mean th this part the yeah this part yeah, yeah. so i gave you t200 No, not going See left. How straight that ball is. Yeah, that was much better than. That was the 
fairly smooth. Okay, come on over. We don't need that scene anymore. Okay. That one felt really good. How about the shaft? What's your impression of the shaft? Should feel the same weight. I mean, I don't really, I mean, I guess I didn't really notice much different. I, visually, it looks different because of this. Yeah. Is what I noticed. But yeah. So, look at that. All those marks are perfect in the middle. It's only five down now instead of six. Am I hitting five. that low on the club? No. A little bit. Okay. Because yeah. you want to hit it like six or so up yep. on the grain. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you launched it. Let's, let's, actually, here's. This is a fun screen. You've got to do better screen. So we're, oh, yeah. we're up in ball speed. Same launch. Lower spin. Four yards further in the yeah, air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and we're hitting it closer to the center. So that's yeah. the average location. And this, yeah. this never shows up here. It's just showing oh, gotcha, gotcha. up. So it's, it's better. I mean, look how, at least now you're hitting down a little bit. You average zero, zero. My path was better too, a little bit. Yeah, well, out, right? it faces, because, look yeah. at the face is way better. Yeah. So the face, you were 4.3 shut, now you're one. Your path is three degrees to the right. Which we want, right? Yeah, no, we want I mean, that's that. ideal. Yeah. You know, like you still have a 4.1 degree differential there. Right. See that? Yep. But yep. Um, look at the dynamic loft came down. What do we want for dynamic loft? That's what I'm not I'm Well, familiar. that head has 28. Okay. And remember, yours has 29, and you weren't you were delivering 28. Now you're taking a 28, you're delivering 25. So three to four degrees of shaft lean is good. That's yeah. why your path is to the right. Okay. They're both connected. Okay. Makes sense. That's the T200. Okay. What'd you think of the head? Looking down, decent. Yeah. Pretty yeah. clean, huh? Yeah, yeah, decent clean. That's awesome. Yeah. In my mind, it felt lighter, but. Maybe that's just mentally like six, eight So what'll happen is most likely one, maybe two. We want to narrow it down to one head, obviously. Yeah. Then we go back and play with shaft. Okay. Okay. Another five. No, only three. Oh, three. Three to four now. Okay. I, I only say five the first go around just so you can get used to the shaft. But you oh, strike. Gotcha. You strike four balls, so I was like, oh. Hang on one sec. So this is the big, the big uh, Callaway, yeah. So this should uh, theoretically go further, right? Because this uh, is 27 degrees, 26.5 degrees of loft. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready. Nice job. What do you think about the head? Looks a little funny. Looks funny. Okay, looks, bring it back. looks big to me. It's not very good. <laughs> For you. Yeah, it's, it's an it's awesome head, but it's got a little bit of offset here, and you've hit kind of three poor shots. Like it certainly wouldn't beat that head. Yeah, that one was really good. Yeah. So I would say maybe, right? Yeah. And then we'll start a mill pile. Okay. Oh, you do this all day. This is fun. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Here's the ping I so I'm a, you, I don't think I've ever swung a ping. So today you will. This will be different. And by the way, if I hand you a club like that, like a ping or something, yeah. and you look at it, you're like, dude, this, if you think you yeah. don't like the look, just give it back, because like, yeah. save your swings, okay? Okay. okay. One sec. Yep, no problem. Okay. Do one more? Yeah, what do you think of this set? Uh, it's not bad. Well, that one made me feel much better. Yeah. So that one felt really good off of it. Okay. It's Three. straight, I mean, pretty straight. Not bad. Not much curve, you know. No, it's probably a maybe. Yeah. I would even make the numbers. I would say, let's take a look here. <clears throat> it's, it's actually on the lower end of spin. So see that? 3,900. Yeah. And you still get down 0.4. So there was one in there that you hit down, and like right here, you hit 1.9 up, up, and that, that's like the middle one for spin. Look at your spin. Yeah. So from a spin perspective, it's not a very good head. Okay. You know? Okay. And you hit high, though. Yeah. 186 carry. I mean, you know, but it's not as much ball speed as that T2. Yeah. See? yeah. So it's 125. So oh, yeah, way down in ball, way down speed, in ball yeah. speed. So I would say not, okay. not ideal. Okay. What if you go through like none of them fit very well? I mean, I think you get more lessons. Well, even like, <laughs> well, from a fitting, you're already up 
you know, yeah. almost a mile per hour ball speed, and we lowered spin. Yeah. Um, for four yards carry. Um, we're a little bit side spin. You have 699 here, 660 here. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're already better here, so, yeah. you know, like with the T2. But we'll see. I, yeah. some, I know out of these leftover heads, I have an idea which one is going to be best, but I'm going to put some dots in this one. This one looks pretty slim. Oops, one sec. No problem. Okay, I'm good. Oh. Okay. I tried to miss right on purpose and have see if it come around. But so far the ones I saw are pretty low spin, you know, like that one's not bad, but you left a little bit open, but we lost the mark. Um, but from a performance deal here, I throw it in there, I deleted the pain. It's a ton of ball speed. Yeah. You know, like a ton. Perfect launch, but no spin, see? Yeah. But it's, that's, so now, that's why it's getting further, right? But, but yeah, I mean, because there's no spin on it. Now in I'm your six, right? yep, in right. your in your world, you know, and you're hitting it way out with the toe, oh, yeah. and the toe on this go around. Now the toe is getting yeah. nine so there. See that? That's a lot more now. Yeah. yeah. So I watched a little bit. You do in transition. You do uh, sneak yeah. on the shaft. You're pretty you steep. Yeah. You know, yeah. Club bed speed's good. One three seven. So so here's the thing. Both of these are the same smash factor, yeah. which is efficiency, way more than yours. Yeah. Yeah. So you're better. Dynamic loft. I don't know the loft on that. I'd have to measure it. But you, you are getting the face a little closed here with the path that's inside out. See? Yeah. That's why we're left left. You know? yeah. um, but I, I would leave it in there. Like, what do you think look wise between these two? Bigger here, you know? Yeah, that part I don't see. I see this top a lot. That's what my and this is thin. Like, yeah, that, that's what my eye goes to. But I actually like the looks of these. My mind seems thin. I think this one of them would seem really thin for some reason. It might have been the uh, stuff. Okay, yeah, hit this one zoom. This is a really good hit. These just launched fairly uh, recently. This one or the PXG, did you say? I play my I play PXG. Oh, okay. Still is closest to the center. Closest to the center so far. Mm -hmm. But 
you're the most efficient now with that guy. Mm -hmm. But that speed's good. The higher. Then I've lost perfect, you know, because that has 27, 26.5. You, 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 you lost it by two or three. You're actually more down here. The negative is me becoming down. Yeah, yeah, which is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's a pop maybe, right, for sure? I, I would so say. So I actually hit that when it pins a couple times. Oh, you did? Yeah. That's one of my friends. I would say it's like, definitely in the category. Yeah. Have you ever hit a trick on? No. You're going to be surprised. Good. This is probably top two, top two or three iron heads all of last year. Oh, wow. That's super good. It's funny, you, you know, you, and hear, I don't care you hear about the balls, whatever the, whatever the clubs are always. Well, now you got a bunch of guys like Brooks Kepka plays on. Yeah, yeah that's right. Kepka, Kepka. Matsuyama, Graham McDowell. I mean, there's a lot of guys. I kind of like the look of it, too, really. Pretty slick looking. Yeah, it's good. It is. You have, you have to like what you. 100%. You know, at presentation, you got to like it, right? Yep. Like, you know. No question. Yeah. You have, you have two good ones in there, you know, and then two kind of mediocre. Yeah. You know, like so when you when you throw it into the comparison here. You know, it's it's close. You know, that's a little higher. That's that's fine. It just doesn't catch that P790 of the performance. You know. Or the or the other one. Or the T2. Yeah. yeah. So I would say. don't like about it is, see how the launch is fairly low, 16, and it's only 3,600 spin. Like, that that thing ran out, like, Carry 12, that's a long card. That could have been, been a mystery. No. I mean. Hmm. That's a long way from hit one more. I mean, <laughs> here's the thing, like. Because that one that was way further than the other one. Oh, yeah, no question. But it, that one felt soft. That one was like the. Where'd you hit really it on the Swing speed was it still 95? Yeah, I think I can. 
You just hit it like right dead there. center, you know. So like, see how see how these get twenty toe, three, twelve, ten, and then five. Well, push towards the toe, yep, and then down. The toe, so that one was low toe, or right here. You actually hit it five heel and six low, like you kind of caught it low heel. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Out of these four, would you eliminate any from just on on like? Look and feel. I like this one. Yeah. And I like this one. It's probably between these two. Yeah, I would say those like two those for sure. Two and that'd be between those two. So let's do one more go around. Okay. Go around here. Okay. And this is where we would start eliminating some of them. Okay. Okay. On, just on feel and performance. Yeah. Give you the stealth. Now between this and that, which one do you like more? To the piece out of Yeah, it seems small. And I These think two I'm, are a little bigger. Yeah, that's why I think I like it visually because like, I'm used to small. Yeah. So I think that's probably why. I like um, the fact that it, it, it's one degree less loft than yours, so the launch should. So down. left less loft means it's going to bring it down. Bring right? it down. Okay, yeah. yeah. See now that was one of the that was the equal to the fastest ball speed of the day. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Even though the first go again. Oh, yeah, it was like, all this stuff right here too. Yeah. Perfect spin, five thousand. The launch was a little high there, twenty. You know. Laser straight, bro. Yeah, that was that was so good as well. I mean, so far, this one's coming, out, like that, coming out ahead, I think, right? Let's, let's throw the P790 on there. Okay. See another one, 133 ball speed. Yeah. Club head speeds up. You see, like... And the back spins back to getting close yeah, to five, right? Yeah. So when you start getting down, I think these guys are really strong lofted. That's mm. why the spin is down. Oh, okay. You know, so you don't necessarily need to play a rocket, you know? Right. But... <laughs> see, now, that was... One of the that was the equal to the fastest ball speed of the day. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Even though the first go again. Oh, yeah, it was like all this stuff right here too. Yeah. Perfect spin, five thousand. The launch was a little high there, twenty. You know. Laser straight, bro. Yeah, that was that was so good as well. I mean, so far, this one's I coming, out, like that, coming out ahead, I think, right? Let's, let's throw the P790 on there. Okay. See another one, 133 ball speed. Yeah. Club head speeds up. You see, like... And the back spins back to getting close yeah, to five, right? Yeah. So when you start getting down, I think these guys are really strong lofted. That's mm -hmm. why the spin is down. Oh, okay. You know, so you don't necessarily need to play a rocket, you know? Right. Like, but... <laughs> Oh, I, I emailed that over to headquarters, and they already they already put your name on okay. on those two orders for different uh, degree one and yeah. fusion. Expect for good drill. What's that? Expect for sure. Keep it coming. Yeah. 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 Really good. Okay, take care. You bet. That was good. That was pretty good. Yeah. It did. I didn't hit it super clean. It didn't come off. Yeah, ball, ball speed high. was down a lot. What's that? The ball speed was only 118, like okay. down a lot. No, 
tilt it off the back. But see, like you don't, you didn't do any of that with the thylacine. No. You know what I mean? Right. What do I have here? That piece of ninety. In my mind, I kind of like this club. Like, I know. Because I hit it fiddlers. Yeah. Why I think. Right. So, so the forge attack, that's got to go out, and the stealth because gotta go of the spin. Out. Yeah, right? you can't play that. No, you okay. know, like that. That's gonna kill you, because the minute you start, if you're at that lowest spin, delivering that much dynamic loft, mm -hmm. you know, like when Chris gets your shaft more forward, mm -hmm. then that spin's even gonna go down more. Oh, right, right. You know, okay. and then at, and at your speed, you don't want that to have happen. Yeah. So I would say. We want to delete those two. Okay. So let's go back in here for now. I would agree with that. And take out the stealth and take out the forward spin. Okay. So look at the T2. Now it's dominating ball speed because the that second go around with the P790, you look you have some in there that aren't very good. Yeah. Yeah. The launch, you know, I like the spin better than I like the spin there. And they're the same exact yardage. But you picked up seven yards carry. That's almost yeah. a full club. Uh, yeah. So like right now, I think the T2 is your best bet yeah. as far as a head. Clearly, I feel like I hit that the best. Yeah. I and you them. like the look. It's I do the like the look. Head. Yeah, I okay. do like the look. So we're going to go with T2. Okay. okay. Let's play I mean, with some. I mean, is this a really good club? It's awesome. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there was a guy that um, is a really good player out of Salem, mm -hmm. and he he came over and he's always played, he actually, I fit him in for some PXGs, but he's always played kind of blades. And he looked at me like, dude, I just want something a little bit more forgiving than a blade. Mm -hmm. And he ended up going with these and it's just, and he won the band in cup. I mean, he's just- And this is still it. kind of a player's- uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, It's uh, one size larger than what like JT and yeah, Speed okay. and those guys I still think I need some forgiveness, obviously. 100%. So, so like, and without Club <laughs> Connects on it, when, you, when we, we build it and po yeah. like, we'll epoxy it, yeah. it'll yeah. look clean. Like, okay. It's really cool. good looking. Okay, so I got four more shafts I want to test, okay? Okay. I got a couple yeah. KBS, Money Taper 130, Tour FLT 120, oh, okay. Okay. okay? Bobon 125, Grand Lake Channel okay. Project X 120, okay? What you, what's your take on the project? It's awesome. It's a really good shaft. Okay. They, it's the new, this is the new, like, L, L, like, LS. Yeah. Um, that means low, low, low spin. spin. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Really stable, 331, 38 I've inches. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Lighter, it's 120, okay? So 10 grams, 10 grams lighter. lighter. So that would, that would equate to one swing lead, because nine grams of, in um, so shaft weight change, it changes if it's one. Okay, when it comes to the weight of the shafts, mm -hmm. I know like the heads out here, shafts, and with my swing speed, do you want a heavy shaft, or do you want? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay. It, so what, what, when you change a, a shaft weight, with a player, yeah. it's only going to change the way you feel, okay. like what you feel. Okay. It's like swinging a probably a really heavy yeah. bat, yeah. Um, and so it might affect how you swing it, you know, okay. because you feel the weight different. Yeah. Does that make sense? But yeah. like in your case, you can't go much lighter than 105. Like okay. no, no yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm so not saying, I mean, honestly, the driver, I feel like I have a heavy shaft in, and I feel like I like it, I'm used to it, and then I get yeah. to fiddlers and hit some of their drivers, and they felt like little toothpicks in my hand, and it just felt yeah. odd to me. Yeah, no question. So, okay, so this is Project X. Uh, so now we're going to compare this with the other numbers. Um, yep. Perfect. So I, I deleted those other ones. Okay. So we're going to go T200. This is Project X. LS. We started the company because, it, and she called it True Spec because yeah. it goes through our quality control 16 yeah. times. So what I actually have to do is create the build sheet, like for the builder, yeah. they if they run into a problem, we all have an alert on our on our phone right. that says like yeah. if I'm in a fitting, I have to answer it. Yeah. But I don't get them anymore because my builder, I, I already know the spec, so I don't mess up. Um, but it's it's because if I fit if if you if 
we put together a set of clubs for you. You should play those clubs for like 10 years. Yeah. Until, yeah, yeah. Unless my until you get hurt. Maybe better. Yeah. Or, yeah. or you change, like, if, if you change technique, then yeah. we can bend the clubs for you. Sure, sure. If you lose or gain speed yeah. and we want to reshaft, we yeah. can do that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people, I try to tell people, you know, if you oh, spend right. a few thousand bucks on a really good set of clubs, oh, yeah. you should yeah. play them for yeah. a long time. Yeah. You're always going to want to try to change the driver. You know, like sure. everyone wants to try and hit further yeah. or something. Yeah. But yeah. irons and wedges, and wedges you might change a little sooner because the, the grooves will wear off yeah. faster. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Um, I noticed this one have the. Yeah, it's stepless. Stepless. Okay. Yeah. So that's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, that's that's kind of yeah. like Project yeah. X's kind of steel. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Would there ever be, ever be a way that I would be in a graphite iron? No. No. Okay. Yeah. no. Okay. I mean, they, easy they, for more they, you, they you, senior or well, lower, lower, lower I mean, they make some or? really good graphite shafts, but they're always lighter. It's okay. tough to get a heavier graphite shaft, gotcha. you know, and it's, I mean, you would break it, you okay. know, like, okay. um, because you have 96 club head speed and if you chunk one, you know, like, graphite could snap. Gotcha. And then, and then you're, and graphite's more expensive, so that'd piss you off oh, yeah. because, yeah. You know, I already went through, like I said, five of the, yeah. <laughs> So now it's all shot, feel, and performance. Okay. That was awesome. Good ball. Like, no curve. But yeah. It's right at the flag, too. That was a really good ball. Yeah, a little fade. But now, what do you can you can you tell the shaft's ten grams lighter? Actually, no. Can't. I really can't. One more. Okay. Can you tell it's a different frequency or flex? I do feel something different. Um, what do you feel? More. I feel like flex. a more yeah. more bend yeah. or more flex, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come on over. Speed, so you must not be hitting it in the center of the face. Okay. So I come over here. Green, You're actually catching it by more. the heel. But what's interesting is your path is now zero. See that instead of inside out, it's zero and the face is. Which means I'm coming straight through instead of yep. in tail. Okay. Same club head speed, but it's not as efficient with that combination. So I kind of like that first combination mm -hmm. first. Does that mean because it was it was too flexy for me maybe? It, or is that it could. Or? So like dynamic loft is up, so that, that could be deflecting a little, adding okay. a little, and it's the same head, so it shouldn't be up. Yeah, right, right. right. So again, that, that goes to like the field. So my attack was further down, right, on those? Yep. So, right. so let's go to our FLT. I feel like this is the softest shot that you're going to test. The KVS? Yeah, this one. This, one. Yeah. this particular one. Tour, tour FLT is kind of like it. Long irons it meant to, means to kick it up, short irons it means to keep it down. So okay. it's, it's a pretty cool shaft. Uh, weight on this arm? 120. 120. Same, Same as the last one. That's great, it looks like. That felt real good. That's so good. Yeah. How's the shaft feel? It feels back to normal. I feel yeah. normal at this. Yeah, yeah. Like the other one felt bendy, this one feels the same as my um, my original. Yeah. Didn't hit it super clean, but straight. Yep, just a little draw. I mean this, I feel like the head is the head's the right by one. far the, the best head. Yeah, yeah no question. Let's do one more. Jeez. That one came off really nice and just pulled left. Yep. That felt real smooth. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Just a little bit. So some of the you know, some of the direction is just gonna be a little bit of you. Fast ball yeah. speed, good spin. Another thing I've been trying to do is get my hand. So just below that again, better launch. Mm -hmm. Lower spin a little bit. 
So the, the blue is the... The blue is the same head, just the first shaft. Okay, okay, so yeah. that's the first one. Yeah, I deleted the and second you, oh, you deleted the second yeah, one. Yeah, the Project X. So this one's better than Project X. Better than the Project X. But not quite, not quite as good as that. Because we still like this better, the 4700. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on, 125. This is an awesome shaft. Five grams slightly than what you currently play. But, but heavier than the last heavier two. Heavier than the last two. And really stage shaft. Oban. Oban. Yeah. Oban. Oban. Is that like the brand name? That's the name of the company. I've never yeah. heard of these. There's guys. yeah. So they're super uh, known for driver and, and graphite shafts. Okay. And they finally we're the only ones that use the steel. And okay. when we do our robotic testing, it it is like the number one performing steel shaft across the board. Okay. That was flush. It. How's the shaft feel? That one felt good too. Yeah. Yeah. This reminds me of the last one I just hit. Yeah. That's a good ball. Yeah. Let's take a look. Three in a row. Really that good. pretty high. See? I feel like that one's high. I feel like all of these went higher with this shaft. Yeah. Really good. See? Five. Mm -hmm. Little high launch there. Yeah. Like that one got it. Yeah. We left the face a touch open, caught a little bit on the toe. But so look, it's it's, oh, yeah. it's the best combination. Yeah. More spin than the first shaft. Yeah. One more yard carry. And it's like right it's in the center really there, yeah. close to the middle. Yeah. So like I would probably take the FLT out because see the smash is way down. One three four. All good numbers, dude. One, one, you're three degrees inside out, the face is a little bit closer. So that one I had pattern. more inside out, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, like right now, it's it's pretty close to between this and that X100, the first shaft. Okay. You know? Yeah. I think you wouldn't be, you'd be happy with either. Yeah. So let's hit one more here. Okay. KBS Tour, Money Taper 130. So this one doesn't have any steps in it. Okay. So it's kind of like the Project X. And it's heavy. In fact, same gram weight as the very first shaft. 125? 130. Oh, 130. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Keep swing. See how straight that yeah. thing is? Yeah. Good ball. Gosh, I like look at golfer. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Ah, a little heavy, but yeah. good miss. Yeah, good miss. Now the blade, and it still didn't go in the bushes. No. Anybody one more? No, that's good. good. I like about this, that that combination. See three different trajectories. Yeah. So that's not my favorite. Dispersion's good though. You see. Yeah. Like lateral yeah. dispersion. So not as good here again. So yeah. 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 So the ball's not coming off, and the spin's low. Yeah. So I would yeah. say not my favorite. If I had to pull it, I'd tell you to go, I'd tell you to go Oban because I already know that the performance of the Oban shafts actually, mm -hmm. you know, in testing it's really good, in, in your performance it's really good. Mm -hmm. Why don't we hit the first shaft one more time? Okay. okay. I mean, this is really what everybody's tour plays. So you have tour speed. You're actually yeah. a little faster than average tour speed. Um, what about like the availability of the Oban? Does it actually carry them? No. Breaking or something? If you break it, um, send it in or something. Then we'll give you an overnight label and we get it back down and, and, and then we will Where do they come out of? Like Scottsdale. Scottsdale? That's where our headquarters is. Okay. So this is a true temper, the first one? Yeah, this is the very first shaft. And this is the 125 or 130. 130, back to my thing. Wait. Yep. Okay. I'll miss it. A little thick, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, now that you've swung this a couple times again, have you noticed anything different? Feel-wise? Well, not really. Okay. I mean, 
feel like it feels, it, I feel like the shafts are hard to feel. The only one that I felt different was the Project X felt whippier a little yeah. bit, but I mean, hard to feel that. Yeah. Let's do one more, we'll put the old one back on. Okay. But you hit it good though. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. that's that's a direction thing. But. Definitely, yeah. It came off really clean. Just got it, like you said, face, close face. Six point one close face. So that was the only issue. Not bad. No face. I didn't hit it good. Yeah. One more good one, okay? Okay. Two shafts. Gosh, it's pretty tough to tell, honestly. They seem, they feel the same. I hit them both pretty good. Five thousand backspin. Yeah, that, that was kind of the best, that last one. But let's keep it in there. So see, like, you still have more ball speed than you do there. Yeah. And you still have more spin than you do there. Yeah. So it's just a bit, from, a, from those two perspectives, it's a better club. Yeah. And then yours. Is clear out on the toe. Look at those yeah. right there. So, so ideally, we want is it dead center? Or do you yeah, want to hit it? You want it. You want to hit it dead center. Dead center. Okay. Yeah. And then a few grains up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I, I would go Oban if I were you. Yeah. Because I think it's just a, I know it's a better shaft. Your numbers are so close in loft speed. Mm -hmm. It's more efficient here. Those two numbers are really close. And then when you look at, and they're the same total. You know, you hit, you hit the yeah. old one three yards further, one yard, one yard more there. But 48,900 the spin here is good. Yeah. Then you look at here, they're both the same descent angle. See that? Well, then what's like price point between these two? I would assume this one's probably because you don't hear about it much. It's more expensive. No. No. I think the X100 might be like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. This might be 80, 80, 90 maybe. You know? Okay. But don't don't worry too much. Like if you break them, like we'll or, we'll always warrant it. Right. You know right, what I right. mean. So so you're not on the hook to pay for yeah. a new shaft. You know, you just be without it for a week or two, yeah. a couple yeah. weeks till we can get it done. Yeah, like those. I just fiddlers uh, doesn't handle those either, and I'm always gonna see it away. It's like with the issues of sending stuff in the mail now. I mean, I don't get it forever. Yeah. So I went out, you know, played so many times out of seven iron, out of P wedge. Yeah. So what we do is called retro and repair. So that would mean like. Put in a new order if we have to well, for a warranty, mm -hmm. and then we get you a label. Okay, mm -hmm. so you just throw it in a box oh, and you just print it. Yeah, so then we get it down there right away. Yeah, and, and the guys just clean it up, pull it. But I think you'd be really happy with that. What do you think of the length of the shaft? Since I was going to ask you that, is this the half inch? That's a half inch over, and since you're <laughs> since you're right here, you see, I think it's yeah. a good length. So yeah. do you think I should? The half is. Don't right. go shorter. Okay, don't go standard. You can't go standard. Oh, okay, no okay, way. okay. I was almost going to say you could you could go a quarter longer than that. Oh, really? Okay. But I think... Oh, if I did go longer, it would push the club out further, and it would bring the club up a little bit more. Correct. Well, should we try that? Yeah. And what do you think? I mean, you're... I have that. I mean, so, it is what it is. So I, I want to play custom. The, the thing that we do is that we want our, our clients to do is kind of like where you're... We're like your realtor for life, yeah. right? You, we're yeah. your club builder, you right. know? Like, so whatever you do, we would always want to like be the ones that fix it or okay. change it. Okay, know? okay, I see. Okay, 38.5, which means I want you to test at 38.25, so chill okay. down just a quarter inch. Okay. Just so. 
quarter inch. Okay. Same, same gram weight, same everything. Okay. Looks too long in your hands. Does it? Okay. Yeah, so 38 is okay. going to be correct. Okay. So I'm going to delete this guy. Now let's talk about, let's measure your grip size. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take like five minutes because we're going to go right to driver. Okay. You've hit 75 balls yeah, already. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to crack a rock star here. You, and I have granola bars, things like that. Like I think I'm okay right now. Okay. Thank you. I may have one in a few. But. Okay. Try to do it with 